Welcome back. First week of January is observed as Road Safety Week. Traffic cell officials have tightened their vigil on traffic rule violators. They are out to educate drivers and riders to be cautious on the roads. Traffic cell has started various activities in the state to mark Road Safety Week. It is observed from 1st to 7th January. They have tightened their vigil on the people breaking traffic rules. Mudgaon Traffic Cell is distributing pamphlets to the vehicle users, educating people about the road and traffic safety. Zebra crossing has been a motorist and riders and he has been signaled that he has been able to get and he has been able to get a lot of people. So, the vehicle drivers and riders have been able to get a lot of traffic safety. We have been able to get a lot of pamphlets distributed. NGOs like Goa Can, Mark, Brahma Kumaris and All Goa Private Bus Owners Association have supported the Road Safety Week. A reporter from Madgaon, Savio Dais. And now news from sports. The much-awaited 2020 GPL will be held from 5th March this year. The tournament will have five teams and all the players will be from the state, unlike what happened in the last two years. The details were revealed at the press conference by GCA President Dayanan Narvikar on Thursday. The GCA has taken a sympathetic view about the struggle of the franchises and have reduced their financial burden this time around. Since we are not bringing outstation players, your registration charges will be less this year. That is, last year it was 5 lakhs. This, will, this year, since they have complained of the revenue not coming to them, since it is, they are not getting sponsors in a big way. So GCA will charge about 2.5 lakh rupees for registration of a team. And it will be yearly affair. It will not be three years uh, team because we want to see how format change. And then uh, maximum a player will get will be around 2 lakhs rupees. That's the maximum bid. And minimum will be 50,000 rupees. So it will be cheaper for uh, our clubs to have this tournament. Well, last year, uh, tournament was very successful. Only issue is now, still after uh, two years of GPL, franchises are struggling to get sponsors. And they, they, if they are, their maximum is 10 lakh rupees for a team, for the players bidding. And two and a half lakh rupees is GCA's uh, money to play the cricket. It's twelve and a half, and they will require another six and a half or seven to make the team training and clothing. Last year it used to cost them about thirty lakhs, na re? Huh? Twenty to thirty. In between twenty to thirty, we want to make it less because the clubs are not getting anything. The franchises are not getting uh, much money. Players are making money. They get a good prizes also, but clubs as such have not been able to make good money out. A video journalist from Porvari, Omkar Falari. The Goa Cricket Association is developing the Porvari-based academy facilities in an impressive manner. Not being limited in the focus on Porvari, the GCA also getting proposals from the other parts of the state to develop grounds for cricket. The GCA is even hopeful of hosting an ODI at Porvari if the future government sanctions additional land. Meanwhile, facilities at the Porvari Academy even include badminton, table tennis, while swimming pool will come up. Plans for boxing, fitness training in Pilates are also in place. According to President Dayanan Narika, GCA is now even supporting to grow other sports. Over a period of time, we expect this age group of 5 to 6 to uh, onward. Either take cricket or they can take anything. So it's not necessary that uh, they, are, they have to be only cricket player or they have to concentrate. They can go in boxing, they can go in table tennis, they can go in uh, whatever game they want and later on they can move when they become big. So we want uh, people to be sports friendly. And we want to create athletes from the age group of 6 onward. You can see a 30 meter by 3 meter first um, running track in Goa established on GCA's upper floor. Narvekar also feels GCA can organize an international match 
if government gives additional land near the existing ground. This proposal is already pending with the old government, they have not given. So any government which wants to have international matches, we are due for one match in 2013. And here I can create sitting capacity of 20,000 people. If I get land only of 6,000 square meters, and the land is available to the left of this side. GCA will give Puma Cricket Kit and 30,000 rupees to its affiliated clubs from Saturday. The general body meeting to be held later this month will decide on disciplinary action. Narvigar also disclosed that a special technical accessory called Smart Board will help in fine-tuning the player's techniques. Our video journalist from Porvari, Omkar Falari. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.